Afghanistan was always considered about as far away from everything as you could get. And so if they've already started fighting in Afghanistan, part of the belief in, in the State Department was you can't fight your way in to help them. So we walked away. And I came back to Washington to brief the president, but this time it was H.W. Bush. We were in the Oval Office and uh, Gates said, uh, uh, you know, remember Milt was in Afghanistan. And President Bush said, Afghanistan, is that thing still going on? And I thought, oh, yeah, it's still going on. The vacuum left in Afghanistan by the Cold War superpowers was filled by neighboring countries. For instance, Hekmat Yar was helped by Pakistan, while Massoud received aid from India, among others. Nobody wanted Kabul to fall into enemy hands. Commander, we are soldiers. Vivíamos en sotaráneos de nuestros casas, en lugares muy pequeños, meses, sin comida, sin agua. Ellos cuando enteraban, hacían lo que apetecía contigo. Cogían mujeres, cogían niñas, los llevaban, los mataban delante de su familia. Hacían lo que los apetecía y no, no, no había nadie de decir por qué. و حالتی که سابق سر مردم آمده بود اکمت ایا در چشم مردم بود یا ترس بود راست بود امروز همه چیز این مردم از پیش مردم گرفتن تا که توی زندگی این زندگی نیست شمساری سر مردم The city was besieged Very quickly the population began to starve. Most of the time, I really wish to delay it from my memory. Part of my life which is really and extremely unpleasant. I was pregnant on my first kids. Whenever it was the sounds of rockets or bullets, I, I try to put my hands like that. It's like, I mean, I will save you. Don't worry, don't worry. Everything will be all right. The plane was not like one or two, so it was like sound and then dum, sound and then dum. So for a pregnant woman, this kind of destructions and this kind of fear immediately will give a big risk. I tried to survive myself and my child till hospital, if I call it hospital, <laughs> but um, and I delivered them, and they were healthy. They, they were they were breathing, and they were crying, uh, very tiny and little. And uh, the nurse was put some marks on my head, and after a couple of minutes, uh, she came and she put another thing, and I was just asking, where's my kids? Uh, my husband just come and cry and say, they're gone. I 
I will never forgive them. Never. And I think the history will judge them, but I, as an individual, I will never. Because they destroy our dream. Not only country, the hope we had, the love we had with them, the feeling, the understanding, a hero, you know, a proper hero that you're waiting to, oh, I have to see, I have to, I have to, I have to meet them. They should come. And they will give us a release from the, from the pain we had. But suddenly, it was a bad trauma. Cuando vives guerra, tú puedes convertirte con un animal salvaje, dejar de comer a otro para salvarla tu vida. Es bien cierto cuando dicen los humanos somos lobos de uno de otro. Es, es cierto. La guerra te cambia todo. Thousands died in the civil war. Kabul was devastated. Masood and Hikmat Yar were accused of war crimes, but to this day, no warlord has claimed responsibility or stood trial for crimes against civilians. This lack of justice is one of the reasons why the wounds of Afghanistan have remained open for so long. What we could indeed do, Commander Masood and me and us during the war to stop it, I can't say that we are 100% right, you know. No one is absolutely right. We are human beings, we are selfish sometimes, we are just thinking different, we become angry, and when you're angry, you lose your wisdom. اجازه بدین من حرف شما را تصحیح کنم ما اصلا هیچ گاهی هم سیول وار نداشتیم ما, ب... ما جنگ داخلی نداشتیم این جنگ از بیرون تحمیل شد All factions received aid from abroad but Pakistan was particularly eager to influence Afghan politics with an enduring conflict against India and hosting millions of Afghans on its soil, Pakistan needed an allied government in Kabul. In 1994, the war was stalled when a new movement appeared, the Students of Islam, the Taliban. It all started when clerics from Kandahar met and decided to restore order. The Taliban grew fast and Pakistan decided to support them. ما بین خود مشوره کردیم و نشستیم طرف ما ای بود که باید در افغانستان یک یک نظام اسلامی جور بکنیم یک اداره بسیار قوی و مضبوط جور بکنیم ای طور یک حکومت جور بکنیم که برای مردم هم خدمت بکنه بعض مردم عام افغانستان که بودن از ما تقاضا کردن که شما خو مجاهدین خوب بودی ای خو هر چیز که خراب میشه مردم قتل میشه دزدی میشه و بعض ما طالب ها بزید همه گروه های جهادی چی کردم یک نهزت و یک قیام کردم According to legend their first action was to capture a rapist and hang him the Taliban chose as leader a man of faith who had fought against the Soviets, Mullah Omar. Because this was regarded as a key moment for the Afghan nation, Mullah Omar displayed the holy cloak of the Prophet Muhammad to the crowd. It's kept in Kandahar and is shown only at times of crisis. The last time was 60 years ago. People in the crowd threw up their turbans to touch the cloak and be blessed by it. It was like being at some great religious ceremony in the Middle Ages. They are saying and preaching, they will come and they will bring justice. So, basically, that was a beautiful slogan. That was a beautiful word. And this is how the people was like a thirsty. We, we've been badly thirsty having justice. 
Promising order and peace, the Taliban won the support of a war-weary population. But the decisive key to their rise came from Pakistan. Thousands of boys who had grown up in refugee camps were trained, armed, and sent to Afghanistan to join the fight. My first meeting with first Talib was in Pakistan. And they said they're determined to fight to the end, to reach to Kabul and liberate people of Afghanistan from the hands of the people like us. Thinking that the, the Taliban one day will capture Kabul, that to be honest, I could not believe it. I asked, who gives you money, weapon, training? He said, God. With the help of Pakistan and the sympathy of the people, the Taliban became unstoppable and set out to take Kabul. The Taliban started two years to invade all the country, because the Taliban are the students of the religion. Los clérigos, ¿no? Y nadie quiere combatir contra los clérigos. Ahmed Shah Masoud y Galbuddin Hakmatyar resistieron un poco en Kabul, pero al final tuvieron que retirarse. ¿Por qué? Porque los mismos, sus propios combatientes no querían enfrentarse a los talibanes. The warlords were left with only two options, surrender or leave. I received a call. Commander Masood is on the phone. Taliban entered and they are now in Kabul. Really? Yes. You left Kabul? God defeated, whatever you call it. Masood went back to the mountains where he once fought the Soviets. Other commanders had to escape abroad. In Kabul remained the last communist president. Dr. Najibullah. For the past four years, the Mujahideen had held him hostage in a UN compound. We invited an Irish gentleman who was in charge of his security in the UN for dinner because he had letters from my father. He had a very positive sort of um, overview of the situation saying there will be a change, um, that there will be an end to, uh, to the Mujahideen era. And I remember asking this gentleman, so does that mean that he will be out? He said, yes, we hope that your father will be out very soon. People were suffered from civil war badly. When Taliban came, amazingly, they was been welcomed by Afghans. My mother is super emotional. Super to say, "Qué bien, qué bien en Talibanes. La guerra va a terminar. Vamos a tener paz." I lloraba de emoción de decir, "Talibanes vienen." Los talibanes ya van a salvar la vida de la gente y guerra civil va a terminar. In only two years time, the Taliban managed to take Kabul. Now they were the rulers of Afghanistan.
The Afghan capital, Kabul, is controlled by Taliban. Overnight, they dragged the former president, Saeed Mohammed Najibullah, from a United Nations compound. He was beaten, shot, and his body hung from a lamppost. Their action was really against the message. They say they will bring justice, but the former president was been killed without justice, without court. In a short time period, the Taliban changed the face of Kabul completely. TV, music, and other forms of entertainment were banned. Even kite flying, a popular game in this country, was forbidden. They imposed their own ferocious brand of fundamentalism, hanging television sets in the streets as a warning to sinners, cutting the heads off graven images. Cuando llegó Talibanes, la guerra civil se terminó. A nos traió paz, pero no co nos cogió la libertad. Es que un país en paz, en libertad, no es un país. Most of the new laws targeted women. For them, Afghanistan turned into a prison. Las mujeres no pueden salir de su casa. Tienen que ir tapadas. No pueden trabajar. No pueden estudiar. En su caso. No enteraba a nadie. Day matar malay selfie dusan selfie dusan ma que amiol que de chito al boda globos lo mi ma que voy mar que basta cada mo llegar junas tim soter que llegar junas tim que ma que voy mar basta cada bisabot ni monim. Those who broke the laws were severely punished. When Taliban beat me on the street, it was, it was very difficult. I had a proper burqa. I hide my beautiful hands with nails, nail polish, that they shouldn't see it. They beat me and they say, why I am on the street without male member of my family, without my mahram? Um, I'm not saying I was very problematic, but I love to answer them. I say, I tried to find someone from second hand market, but I couldn't. And that was they start beating me extra. In the middle of the street, in front of probably 400 eyes or 500, for no reason. And immediately after that punishment, it was like a wake up call. Wake up, wake up. I woke up. I start my underground school teacher. I bring the girls and I told them, look girls, this is not whom you are. When I was in your age, I was a good basketballer. I was a good volleyballer and I was uh, listening to the music and I had a good scale of writing. And they were just looking to me like a very strange way. How possible? Really? It's possible? Did you wear skirts? Yes. You never cover your head? Yes. It was normal. Afghanistan is a país, a tierra de gente muy fuerte, muy potente. Porque si han montado estos años de guerra, es la potencia que tienen, ¿no? La gente. Había gente que se había en estos soterráneos escondidos, habían puesto un televisión pequeño, cogían un pequeño entrada y tú podías entrar y ver a una película. Y mirábamos películas de Bollywood. <risa> 